Welcome to second part of our lesson of mathematics for grade 7 related to ratio and proportion. And let's consider how to simplify ratio. And now I suggest you to practice in simplifying ratios already, which, which already are uh, given for us. For example, let's consider a couple following ratios. For example, it Ratio, ratio is 2 to 8. How can we simplify it? We also are able to find highest common factor of these numbers. HCF equals 2 in this case, which means we should divide both parts by 2. We will have 1 to 4. The ratio of two quantities is 1 to 4 in this case. Okay, let's move further. Actually, we can mention that uh, simplifying of ratios is similar to simplifying of fraction. If you uh, would have, for example, 2 out of 8, you will also find the highest common factor of numerator and denominator. You will, you will have 1 quarter or 1 divided by 4, just as in this case. So, so you already can apply technique related to fractions, yeah, to simplify ratios, to do something with ratios, it's, it's good. Okay, let's move further. For example, let the ratio be 24 to 9. 24 to 9. How to simplify? this ratio we also should find highest common factor what is it in this case it's obvious that both uh, numbers can be uh, divided by three and three is the highest number which both these numbers could be divided by which means we should uh, simplify dividing both parts by three we'll have eight two Three. So brilliant, we simplified this ratio and 8 to 3 is our simplified ratio. And let's consider the um, last uh, example of simplifying ratio. The initial ratio is 28 to 12. Uh, Actually, you cannot uh, instantly divide both, uh, both numbers by highest common factor, which is uh, 4 in this case, right? But uh, we just can mm, simplify the ratio step by step. Let's first divide both parts by 2 first. And we'll have 14 to 6. And 14 to 6 is also uh, the proper ratio, it equals first ratio, and we can also use it, it's not wrong. But it is not uh, the most simplest ratio yet, it's not uh, in its simplest form. So we can simplify it further, but of course if it's comfortable for you, you can use ratio uh, from this step already. But if we will simplify it further... We will divide both parts also by 2, which is highest common factor on this step. On the previous it was 4. And we'll have 7 to 3. 7 to 3. 7 to 3 are... Mm, uh, are what? Are prime numbers. Yeah, 7 and 3. Which means their highest common factor is... 1, which means this form of the ratio is the simplest one. Of course, we could initially get this uh, form already just by dividing first our initial ratio by 4, which was the highest common factor, but it's not prohibited to do it step by step, to divide it by 2 and then to divide it by 2 once again, so that's, uh, that's okay. So thanks for watching, I think you already now able to apply ratios, in following uh, lessons I'll show you how to 
share something in a ratio, in a given ratio. It's a very important thing. Yeah, it will be a very important tool for solving a great variety of different text problems or even real life uh, context problems. Thanks for watching.